Are you someone who's always on the lookout for new food? Does the thought of eating the same old snacks make your heart sink? Then maybe this list is for you. If not, it's still a worthy watch which will make you question what is considered palatable. So here it is, 12 insects that you can eat and are surprisingly delicious. Here we go. Before we get started, be sure to smash the like button, subscribe and click the notification bell for more such amazing content. Let's get to it. Number 12. Tarantula If you have a bit of arachnophobia, then this snack will probably get your palms sweating and your stomach turning. These massive and intimidating tarantulas are probably the last thing on earth you'd consider as a snack, but in the country of Cambodia, it's a very common dish. They might be dangerous, but they're also very nutritious. The locals generally roast them up and eat them like pieces of chicken. They say they taste like crab and also have the flavor profile of nuts. They're in fact so popular that they sell out really quickly. So why do they even start eating tarantulas? Well, at times of great famine, the people in this part of the world had to resort to what was available to them, and one of those choices were tarantulas. Even though Cambodia isn't going through a famine now, this delicacy has persevered and is a popular street food. Japan also has their own way of consuming these monstrous eight-legged creatures. They start off by tearing the spider's abdomen and removing the venomous glands carefully. Next, they burn off all its hairs and then deep-fry it good. And then finally, the dish is served. Bon appétit! Number 11. Cicadas One of the noisiest insect snacks on this list are the cicadas, though being noisy doesn't make them any less delicious. They're often eaten in Thailand and are considered as a national delicacy. The lifespan of this creature is fascinating. They generally pop out of the earth every 13 to 17 years and only live for a few weeks on the surface. It's important to harvest them as soon as they surface, otherwise their body hardens once they mature. They're usually hunted in late evening and are prized for their high protein and energy value. According to people who've eaten them, they taste like potatoes or asparagus. Once caught, they're boiled with their legs, wings and insides removed and are fried until golden brown. They're generally served with salt and sometimes even served up with vegetables. Number 10. Palm Weevil Larvae Biting into a juicy larva probably doesn't sound appetizing to you, but many people in Southeast Asia do it. The palm weevil larvae is one such local delicacy served in various ways. One way is to fry them for a while and then serve them with salt and a bit of white pepper. You can even skimp out an oil while frying them since they have a lot of fat within them. If you have to take it up a notch, these larvae can be eaten raw. They have a creamy texture and flavor, and some compare the taste to meat or bacon. Though they might be on your plate as a snack now, when not harvested for food, they destroy palm trees by eating its wood. Generally, palm trees infested with these bugs don't live more than six months, so eating them is not just recreational but also beneficial to the environment. Does that push you enough to try them? Number 9. Scorpions If you thought this list can't get any more ridiculous than it is now, I hate to break it to you, we're only getting started. The next one on this list is probably going to make the hair on the back of your neck stand. That's right, people do eat scorpions. In fact, they're quite widely consumed in multiple regions in Asia. They're considered a delicacy in Vietnam, China and Thailand. If you enjoy grilled style, then head to Thailand where they skewer these fellas and serve it kebab style. People are so resourceful that they somehow find a way to eat anything, even if it's something as venomous as a scorpion. Number 8. Termites You probably dealt with these pests sometime in your life. Termites cause a lot of damage to wooden items and trees alike, but you probably never thought that they'd be a good snack as well. It's only fair. If they eat your table or chair or drywall, you probably earn the right to eat them. An eye for an eye, right? Eating termites is nothing new, and they've been consumed for centuries in certain parts of the world. Termites can be eaten even in their egg form, and the females are also consumed. People in African countries and Indonesia are known to eat them, and they're valued for their high protein content. They can either be fried or char-grilled, and sometimes they can be eaten raw as well. Maybe worth a try. Number 7. Stink Bugs You probably didn't expect stink bugs to be on this list. Why would anyone eat them if they smell so bad? Well, people always find a way, and turns out they're actually pretty darn good. In southern Africa, they're generally caught and soaked in warm water to get rid of their pungent smell before preparation. But places like South America and Vietnam actually appreciate the pungent aroma these bugs produce. In Laos, they grind these stink bugs and combine them with herbs and spices to make a paste called chow. Apparently, these bugs taste like cinnamon or apples. There's only one way of finding out. Number 6. Hoo-hoo beetle larvae 
When Bear Grylls bit down into a hoo hoo beetle larvae, he certainly didn't give an impression that it's something you would ever want to try. It didn't look like he enjoyed it, but there are, however, people who consume it as a delicacy. The indigenous people in New Zealand eat them with a lot of relish. The taste has often been compared with that of buttery chicken, and for some, peanut butter as well. Either way, eating these massive juicy larvae won't be an easy task for most. If Bear Grylls had to struggle, then it probably won't be easy for us either. Number 5. Grasshoppers Grasshoppers as a snack doesn't sound so far-fetched compared to other insects on this list. These creatures have been enjoyed by people for thousands of years and provide a lot of nutrients like other insects do. They don't particularly have any distinct taste, but they do however take on the flavor of whatever they're cooked with. In Mexico, they're enjoyed in a lot of ways. They can be fried, sun-dried, boiled, soaked in lime juice, and even eaten raw. They're even served with guacamole and are very popular snacks. Another recipe that can be seen in this part of the world is that they're mixed with avocados and eaten with tortillas. I've got to say, grasshoppers are starting to sound delicious to me. Number 4. Wasps and Bees Japan has its share of strange foods, but keeping in theme with this list, we'll be talking about two unique insect-based recipes which have come out of the land of the rising sun. Hachinoko won't be something that many new generations would know about, but the older generations would fondly reminisce. For the dish, they use larvae of bees and wasps and cook it with soy sauce and sugar. Sometimes they even use honey. The sweet goo is then enjoyed with rice. Tibatinoko is another dish which uses wasps and is enjoyed as a crispy snack while enjoying a beer. These dishes are definitely not cheap since it's not something they can mass produce. Even catching these insects is labor intensive, hence the high price point. If you get a chance to eat one, a bite won't hurt and is probably worth it. Number 3. Silkworms Here's a worm that you should probably really consider adding to your diet for its health benefits. Silkworms are not just some caterpillar producing silk, they pack a lot of benefits like preventing Alzheimer's disease, reducing the chances of developing diabetes, and also can help with reducing chronic fatigue. They're full of protein, so they serve as a nice alternative to your usual protein meals. In South Korea, the silkworm pupae are served as a deep-fried street food called byongdegi. People say that these worms taste a lot like crab or lobster, and that shouldn't come as a surprise since crabs, crayfish, and lobsters are close relatives of these insects, so maybe your next fancy lobster meal can be substituted with this creepy crawly delicacy. Number 2. Ants Which is the most easily accessible insect around us? It probably has to be ants. You've seen them around your home and outdoors. One particularly unique type of ants are the honey ants. As the name suggests, they carry sweet liquids in their disproportionately large abdomens. It's like having drops of honey or sugar in your mouth. Though honey ants are good dessert-like treats, most ants are best consumed in their larvae stage, since they're a lot more nutritious than their adult counterparts. Cooking them is also possible. They can either be fried or baked, and sometimes cooked over an open flame while wrapped in leaves. Think you'll try them? Number 1. Cockroaches Finally, and probably something you didn't want to see in this video, cockroaches. Yes, yes, they are generally known to be incredibly unsanitary because of what they eat and where they live, but cockroaches as a food is a real thing. But of course, you can't eat them straight off the floor. Before you even consider cooking these bugs, they need to go through a detox diet of fruit and vegetables. After 48 hours, all the terrible things that are digesting in their guts should be out of their system and safe for consumption. Their demand in Asian countries is huge, and they're used not just for eating, but also for waste management, as animal feed, and even for medicinal uses. Cockroaches are quite versatile when it comes to preparation. They can be fried, sautéed, boiled, or even toasted. Some people say they taste a bit like greasy chicken. I guess you'll never look at greasy chicken the same way ever again. You made it through the list, congrats! Think you'll try any of these insects in the future? Do let us know in the comments! For more such eye-opening content, be sure to hit the like button, share and subscribe. See you next time!